everyone, Leanne Pilkington back with you for the latest edition of the Lang and Simmons Partner webinar series. And I've got Mim from Tenants. How are you, Mim? Good. How are you, Leanne? Yeah, good to see you. You too. So t- tell everybody what Tenants actually do- does. So Tenants is a utility service. It's free. And we assist tenants and homeowners to connect their utilities and other services yep. when they move house. So what kind of services are we talking about? So we connect electricity, gas, broadband, solar, LPG, removalists, and in Victoria, we do water. Okay. So someone's moving, they just have one communication to you and you deal with the rest of the Correct. connecting. They can You can disconnect in one property and reconnect we in the other or just... Connect. Because of privacy reasons. Ah, that's fair enough. But we, do, we can do all the other connections for them. Okay. Yeah. So it just makes it fast and easy. And is there a charge involved? No, absolutely free, not. Free, free service. Got to love that. I know. Got to love free a free service. service. <laughs> um, so I guess the reason someone would use you is just that convenience, right? I think there's two groups of people that use tenants. And the first group is your first time tenant that's yep. moved out of home, has never rented a property they don't know what to do. You've got no idea what They've to do. They've got no idea. And it has happened before we they, moved they, in. They call mum and go, mum, the yeah. light's not going on when I press the, you know, yeah. like, did you connect they, they, the electricity? They don't, they don't know yeah. any different. How so? so there's that group and people moving from overseas that come in, yeah. have never rented. So that's one group of people. The other group are probably the time poor yeah. or they just love the convenience of not having to do it themselves. Yeah, that would be me. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I don't like to have to. I wouldn't. Yeah, I wouldn't get around to doing it. I'm sure. <laughs> um, so, do you need to go through a real estate agent to do it, or you can do it directly? No, you don't have to go through a real estate. I recommend that you do. Yeah. Um, personally, well, for the sake of a PM not getting that call on a Saturday, saying my power's not on. Oh right. Because yeah. they have visibility across the portal. Yeah. So they can okay. see that the tenant has connected their utilities and it's all done. Yeah. Okay. So it's just so, more convenient. Yeah. Yeah. And how many customers have tenants helped over the time that you've been open? Since we launched, we have helped move over 10,000 customers. Wow. That's yeah, a lot. It's a lot. Probably should know what you're doing by now, right? Oh, well, you'd hope so. I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, there's a lot of conversations around the cost of living, right? It's um, And power in particular Yes, um, is a big issue. Have you got some tips on power saving for people? Yes. So the first one is unplug devices that you're not using. You may not think they're doing much, but they actually use standby power, which is also Even called if it's standby. Turned off. If it's still in the PowerPoint, yeah. pull it out. Really? They okay. still use standby power, also okay. known as vampire power, and that can cost a household up to $100 a year just from having things plugged really? in. Really? Yeah. So that's going to take me forever to go home and unplug everything. Well, I'm not saying get behind your fridge, like a no, washing machine, but <laughs> you know, just if you've got kitchen appliances that you don't use often, heaps. just unplug them. Yeah, I've got heaps. Mm. Mm. All right. So that that's one. Okay. The big one I think that hurts all of us yep. is our heating and our cooling. Yeah, for sure. Um, so in summer, if your thermostat is set at 24 degrees, yep. great. Every degree lower to cool is using approximately 5% more power for every degree. Now, it doesn't sound like a huge amount. Yeah. But, but if you set it, at, if you change it to 20 degrees, that's 20% more power that you're using. And if you multiply that by the days, the weeks, the month, and then the whole season, you're going to end up with a... And, big and I don't know about everyone else's air conditioning, but mine doesn't actually ever get down to that 20 degrees, even though I'm, I might try and get it there, right? So I'm wasting power for no reason. Mm. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's a good tip. So that's one. And winter's actually more. Right. So every degree over 20 degrees is using ten percent, approximately 10% more power. Oh. So, so put that's a jumper on? <laughs> put a jumper on. I'll just turn it off quickly and then get the chill out and then yeah. turn it off. Okay. So I think that because that, that's the one that affects the most for everyone. And that's why I think we get these big bills in summer, at the end of summer, yep. at the end of winter. Yep. Yeah, I certainly so, know it from my own, um, my, yes. I, I do too. I have a daughter that leaves my hours on 19 degrees. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. So it's, it does add up. So unplug your power, check your thermostat, not below 
20, below, yeah. below 24 for summer. 24 and above, above, above 20, 20 for winter. For winter. Yes. What else? Energy rating for appliances. Uh, so you yeah. might be in the market to buy a new fridge and you might find a great deal on a fridge. Yep. But you'll probably find the energy rating is very low. In the long term, it's going to cost you a lot more in power. And so where should the energy rating be? Or it's just in comparison to other fridges? In you'll comparison say, to other. Got it. Yeah. 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 So that's a big one. Yep. Um, the other thing is showering. Now, this one is really interesting. There was a study in 2022 that found that 31% of water consumption for the average home yep. was consumed by showers. Right. So if you minimise showers to four minutes. I know that. Four minutes. I can do four minutes. I can't do four minutes. Yeah. <laughs> um, you can reduce your energy costs and water consumption by up to $200 a year. Wow. For an average household. Wow. That's a lot. I don't think my husband's going to buy into the four-minute showers. But I'm guilty of not doing it. I'll, um, I'll tell him you said so. <laughs> so the, the, that's probably – I think it's just being more conscious yeah, totally. of, of where we're, we don't need to waste money. Yeah. Um, and if you've got zoned ducted air, yep. just call the zone that the, actually needs that needs cooling it. or heating and close your blinds, close your curtains to trap the heat or the cool in. Yeah, you underestimate the impact, right, that um, window coverings can it have. Does. Yeah, be Th- sure. Thick curtains can keep that heat in. Yeah, okay, they're yeah. very good tips. And if somebody is just looking for a price comparison on power, for example, yeah. a tenant for able to do something like that? No, not? we're not a comparator. Yep. But what happens is when a customer comes through tenants, yep. they're presented with three three rates from our providers Options. on the panel. Yeah, okay. They can choose who they go with. Yeah. So there's no push to one supplier. Yeah. Now, the beauty of tenants as well is a lot of people don't want a call from a call centre. No. They want to be able to do it on their phone. I get them all the time. Yes. Yeah. So they have the option of self-serving. Okay. So once we receive the lead, that customer gets a text message and an email. Yeah. They can click on that link and go through and connect for themselves. Yeah, Okay. So the choice is theirs. Yeah. And I think the younger generation prefer that as well. They certainly don't. They speak to anybody, do they? That, that's right. They don't. <laughs> but they just like to do everything on their phones. Yeah. But I think that's the way it's going. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Well, that's, yeah. Sounds very convenient. Yes, it is. It's, it's, it is an easy, convenient, and it can be quite fast. Yeah. To get it done instead of sitting on a phone to all your providers. I think you're mad if you don't give it a whirl. I think so too. Thank you so much for coming in. Thanks, Leanne.